Morning, y'all. Funeral day. Getting ready. So far, so good. My belly's hurting me a lot, though, so I am very anxious. Kiana's doing good. Um, yeah, Kiana says she's she feels okay. It's shocking. <laughs> so, yeah. I just finished editing his video. I got out the shower. I'm about to start getting ready and then do my face. We have about an hour before our ride gets here. I'll catch back in with you guys.
word to me. M is for marvelous, which is another word to describe you because you were amazing. Friend. I is for affectionate because you were so caring. R is for robust because you were a strong boy. I is for how intelligent and smart you were. If tears could build a stairwell and memories were allayed, I'd walk up right to heaven and bring you home again. No farewell words were spoken, no time to say goodbye. You are gone before I knew it, and only God knows why. Kamari made everyone around him happy, and we all miss you very much. Rest in heavenly peace, my forever friend. We sang the tones. Kamari was a happy baby, always smiling. He wasn't a fussy baby until it comes to food time. Mm -hmm. Even at just a couple months old, Kamari demonstrated that it was not just a regular baby, as some of the things he would do were way advanced for his age. At the age of three, Kamari started to attend Ebenezer Proprietary School and later moved on to attend the DRB Grant Demonstration Basic School. He excelled in all subjects, especially maths, which was his favorite. Kamari knew how to express himself very well. He was very intelligent, smart, and polite. He was a very happy child who was rarely sad, and those instances either were either him being sick or not getting his way with things. He had a passion for dancing, and he was very good at it too. Kamari loved taking pictures and making videos of himself to his son, especially dancing. He had a smart mouth that would sometimes run him in trouble. He loved dressing up and going out to either the beach or the park. Whenever he dressed up, he would have this ghost walk that would make everyone around him laugh. He loved playing and spending time with his sisters and cousins. Kamari loved his grandmother and did not like when she would leave him. He would constantly ask his mom, when is grandma coming home? And sometimes even demand his mom to call his grandma because he wants to talk to her. He adored his aunt, Aunt Zoe. He loved his uncle Patrick, who was a second father to him, and his aunt Sejo, who he would spend all of these ways. His mom's favorite memories of him are the movie nights they would have together, where he would be the one to choose the movie they would watch, and how excited he would be when she made popcorn and they would cuddle together. The nights when they would play games on his phone and he would ask her to choose the car he should use. The random kisses that he would give her, especially when she needed them the most. One of these kissing episodes ended in him telling her, Mom, you have gotten a hundred kisses already, so no more kisses. His dad's favorite memories of him are the, all right, sorry, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> all right, so he loved his uncle Kevin, who was a second father um, to him. His dad's favorite memories of him are the drives they would take, especially when going to the country, listening to music, singing, and dancing together. He loved the conversations that they would have. These conversations would range from Kamari either kissing him and expressing how much he loves and wants to be like him when he gets older, or to telling him he needs to get a new van as the one he has is getting old. His grandma's favorite memories of him are the evenings he would come home from school and he didn't see any pots on the stove. He would then ask, Grandma, how come there are no pots on the stove? You don't cook, you're not cooking? Or when he would ask her if she's going to cook curry chicken and rice for him. So curry chicken and rice for him is the curry gravy on the rice that he did not like eating me. My favorite memory of Kamari was this particular day when he sent me a voice note to ask, where, I, where am I and if I'm okay? I sent him a voice note saying that I wasn't feeling too well as I had the flu. His response was, I will feel better soon and I should drink some soup or some porridge. 
In every aspect of the short life of our lives, he showed how much of a cold soul he was, how caring and loving he could be. He loved and he loved and was loved dearly, and he enjoyed his short stay to the fullest. I now believe those destined to live the shortest lives gives them gives and makes the most precious memories. Yes. Perhaps they're not the stars, but rather opening to heaven, where the love of our loved one pours through and shines down upon us to let us know they are happy. After her brief illness, Hamari transitioned on the 31st of May at 2.40 a.m. at the Cornell Regional Hospital. He leaves behind his mom, dad, sisters, grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, and other relatives and friends. You were born a child of life's wonderful secrets. You return to the beauty you have always been. Sleep in peace, Kamari. We love and miss you dearly. Hey.
commit young Patrick to our Savior let us bow our heads in prayer at this time father we now acknowledge how great you are your might and your power father we pray for strength for everyone here it is not easy but we are leaning on your strength we God knows that with you all things are possible so now god we are putting our trust we present the family friends loved ones in your hand we ask that you god will take control we bless your holy name and we acknowledge who you are in jesus name we pray we all say amen, amen. amen. I'm going to ask you to get something in your hand. We are about to commit to our brother. Oh Lord. For as much. For as much as it had pleased Almighty God. It is wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased brother. We therefore commit his body to the ground, heart to heart, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. We're looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the whose second coming. In glorious majesty judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible body of those who sleep in him shall be changed, and made like him, made like unto his own glorious body, according to the might, mighty working, whereby he is able to subdue all things unto, unto himself. We say, Thanks be to God. At this time, we are going to cover the grave and the workmen are going to work. We are going to sing. If you look in your program, there are some forces. You can sing them. While the work and work. Meet me by the river someday. Meet me by the river.
pay y'all. Battery died, a lot of things happened. Anyways, home. Been home for a few hours now. Um, I think we got back down here. Honestly, guys, I don't even know the time. Like, it's almost 10 o'clock right now. And just showered. As you can see, I've been crying, y'all. When I found out Kamari died, like when I got the text message that Kamari was gone, <laughs> this is what I looked like. Like, I remember just crying myself to sleep, taking a nap, waking up, crying again. And then just re-watching all my videos, looking at all my pictures, my videos that I have of him, like... <sighs> like, out of all people, Kamari. But beautiful going um Kiana said she's pleased um Kamari's dad is pleased as well um it's crazy because I've known Kamari's dad since about I want to say 2016 2017 it could even be earlier than that but I'm going to say 2016 2017 and Kamari came in 2018 um and like me and Kiana's baby father like ooh. I'm not gonna say I didn't like him but you know like as a bigger sister like you might see somebody and you're just like mm, I don't like them for my sister like and like when shit tra transpires like in the relationship and your sister comes to you and confides in you it's just like girl I don't like that thing for you but um during this whole process like I don't know like it's your baby like like even today like when they both broke down like i just had to go and hold both of them up like <sighs> and he came to me today and he was just like well kiana came to me and kiana was like he wants to talk to you and i'm like what the fuck did i do like you know what i mean like why do you want to talk to me <laughs> but he came and he just thanked me for everything that i've ever done for his son like being an, a part of his son's life um both while he was here and while he's gone um just showing up for my sister and just being there and stuff like that i don't want to cry again y'all but thank you so much for all your condolences like oh this is hard I did my custom lashes this morning and basically they're all gone like i can't stop crying i feel like my reality starts now after seeing him in his coffin and everything like i don't know i just never thought i was my nephew not what I came on here for and um wait for my sister to come back I don't know why she's taking so long because she's supposed to come back with some juice like girl where you at where you at <laughs> but yeah um yeah it's hard y'all please continue to keep me and my family in your prayers again especially Kamari's parents um but the whole family is hurting like Like, I can't believe, come on. Anyways, bye. Everything went well today. Again, as I said, I'm about to go to bed because, like, I've been crying. And 
my head is hurting me now. I haven't eaten all day, y'all. All day I'm not eating. Well, I had one cup of soup at the thing, but that's that's it. And two cup of juice. <laughs> later don't laugh at my bag <laughs> like oh my god I walked outside and Andrew was like what happened to your eye <laughs> I was just about to call Kiana and she just pulled up so my juice is here <laughs> I'll be later, y'all. See you guys tomorrow, probably. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but we're at an Airbnb. I don't know if I mentioned it, but um, we leave tomorrow. So I'll do a tour for y'all tomorrow when we're getting ready to check out. Okay? Okay, bye.